Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video we will tackle the first point in my checklist designed to help you evaluate a company in 10 easy steps. And that first point is how to define your circle of competence and how to invest only in what you understand. If you stay until the end I will show you how all of this applies to Tesla and why I am all in in that stock. As an added bonus, you will learn from the greats how to expand that circle and what mistakes to avoid while doing that. As previously stated, I have outlined my checklist in a previous video that I will leave in a card at the end. We will start with the first one in the list. Before that, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss the other nine steps and many, many more cool videos. With that being said, let's get started. Every day there's a new stock that everyone says is God's gift to investors. And I admit, I don't like to put my head in the sand and ignore everything just because it's hyped up. But the first thing I do before I start deep diving into a company is to ask myself the question, do I understand the underlying business? If the answer is no, but the company is within my circle of competence, then I have a decision to make. I either put in the time and the effort to understand that company's business, or I just stay away from it completely. But what is a circle of competence? Well, I will let Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger answer that question. The, uh, it's a, you know, it is, it is a question of being self-realistic, and that applies outside of business as well. Uh, and uh, I think Charlie and I have been reasonably good at identifying what I would call the perimeter of that circle of competence, but obviously... We've gone out of it. I would say that in my own case, I've gone out of it more often in retail than in any other arena. Um, I think it's easy to sort of think you understand retail and then uh, subsequently find out you don't, as we did with the department store in Baltimore. You can say I was outside of my circle of competence when I bought Berkshire Hathaway, I, although I bought it really to resell as a stock originally. I probably was out of my circle of competence when I decided that I should go in and buy control of the company. That was, that was a dumb decision, um, which worked out. Uh, the Being, being uh, realistic in appraising your own talents and shortcomings, I think. I don't know whether that's innate, but some people seem a whole lot better than it, the others. And I, I certainly know of a number of CEOs that I feel have no idea of where their circle of competence uh, begins and ends. But uh, uh, we've got a number of managers who I think are just terrific at it. I mean, they really... They really know when they're playing in the game they're going to win in, and they don't, they don't go outside of that game. I can't tell you the best way to uh, develop a great sense of that about yourself. You might get some of your friends that know you well to offer contributions. Charlie's given me a few contributions occasionally, saying, what the hell do you know about that? Uh, that's one way of putting it, of course. I don't think it's as difficult to figure out competence as it uh, may appear to you, if you're five foot two, you don't have much of a future in the National Basketball League. And if you're 95 years of age, you probably shouldn't try and act the romantic lead part in Hollywood. And if you weigh 350 pounds, you probably shouldn't try and dance the lead part in the Bolshoi Ballet. And if you can hardly count cards at all, you probably shouldn't try and win chess tournaments playing blindfolded, and so on and so on. You're ruling out everything I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> but competency is a, relative, is a relative concept. And what a lot of us need, including the one speaking, is what, what I needed to get ahead was to compete against idiots. But I want to make something really clear. 
Well, it's enough to pick just one bad stock and go all in because the market is going up and because everyone is chipping in and everyone is buying this stock or that stock and lose all your money on just one investment. And I call that investment loosely because from my point of view, there is only one type of investment and that is long term buy and hold. Everything else is gambling. And I don't think there's anything wrong with gambling as long as you acknowledge that and you are ready to lose all your money in a moment's notice. If that's okay with you, then it's definitely okay with me. But the only way to invest long term and do that sustainably is to invest within your circle of competence. So starting from Warren Buffett's example, I can define this concept as being the intersection of four major areas in life. Number one, hobbies and things that I'm passionate about. The second area is background and education. And that comes together with work and career. The next area is things I spend money on. And here, I guess there's no surprise, I spend most of my money on gadgets, but also on learning and development, vacations and cars. And if you overlap all these areas, it gets really obvious really fast that my circle of competence revolves around technology. The last filter I apply is, does the company's mission and management align with my values and my morals? Or put another way, am I proud to own that company? Of course, more on this will be in future videos when we tackle management, the company's mission, financials, execution, and many, many more. So then I rank these companies based on the level of my understanding, the degree of my confidence in their business, my appreciation of the management. Also, I will apply the rest of the checks that are not mentioned previously. And in the end, I will end up with just a handful of companies. When it comes to Tesla, I find the company is smack in the middle of this Venn diagram, tackling fields that I'm most interested in, but more importantly, that I understand. It is enough to take a look from space to see that Tesla is more than a car manufacturer. It is a software as a service provider, a travel enabler. It is the biggest clean energy solution provider, going after general artificial intelligence, blockchain and cryptocurrencies, and getting ready to provide entertainment like movies, TV series, and games within the car. On top of that is one of the most interesting companies to invest in and it showed in 2021 that it is a major player when it comes to microcontrollers programming and repurposing existing components and getting out of the chip shortage way faster than any of its competitors. Many have made the argument that everything we just discussed should be viewed as part of the circle. And that may well be true with time. But first I would start as we did today and consolidate what I know best. And if I want to cast a wider net, then I need to expand my knowledge. On the other hand, you can find my opinion on diversification by clicking the card in the corner. But if you want to, can you expand the circle? And more important, should you? Again, I will defer this question to the greats. My question is, our world is changing at a faster pace today versus 40 years ago, and even more so going forward. Under this context, for each of us individually, shall we expand our circle of competence continuously over time, or shall we stick with the existing circle but risk having a shrinking investment universe? Well, obviously you should, under any conditions, you should expand your circle of competence. If you can. If you can, <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, uh, I've expanded mine a little bit over time. But if you can't, you ought to be pretty cautious. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 you can't force it, you know. It, if you told me that I had to, you know, become an expert on on physics or, you know. Dance may be the lead in the ballet, Warren. That would be a sight. Yeah, well, that's one of that. Really now. That's one you may be thinking about, but I, <laughs> that didn't even occur to me. But, no, it, it's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, yeah. That doesn't mean you can't expand it at all. I mean, I, I, I did learn about some things as I've gone along in, in, the, in the few businesses. In some cases, I've learned that, we're, that I'm incompetent, which is actually a plus, and you've discarded that one. Uh, but it doesn't really have, the world is going to change. It's going to keep changing. It's changing every day, and that, that, that makes it interesting. You know, uh, and and, and uh, as, it, as it changes, certainly within what you think is your present existing circle, you have to... You should be the master of figuring that one out, or, or it really isn't your circle of competence. And if you get a chance to expand it somewhat as you go along, I've learned 
some about the energy business from Walter and, and Greg as, as we work together, but I'm not close to their level of competence on it. But I, I do know more than I used to know. And so you get a chance to expand it a bit. Usually, I would, I would think normally your core competence is probably something that sort of fits the way the mind is working. Some people have what I call a money mind, and they, they will work well in certain types of money situations. Uh, it isn't so much a question of IQ. The mind is a very strange thing. Uh, and people have specialties, whether in chess or bridge, I see it in different person. People that can do impossible, what seem to be impossible things, and they're pretty kind of, Charlie would say, stupid in other areas. <laughs> so uh, just keep working on it. Don't, don't think you have to increase it and therefore start bending the rules. The first step is to understand the company that you want to invest in. Make sure you know your circle of competence and see if the company that you want to invest in fits. Of course, just understanding a company's business is not enough to start investing. But that is what the other nine steps are for. So don't forget to like the video if you did and subscribe to my channel to get the full list and more. Kind regards and see you in the next one. 